What's up guys, I'm out here with the 7 Rem Mag. I got gel downrange at 350 yards. I'm gonna test out the 162 ELDX today. Let's see how they do. Hopefully I can hit it with the uh, first round. All right guys, let's take a quick look at the ballistics here for that 162 ELDX. So we're starting out with a velocity of 2950 with 3130 foot-pounds of energy. So as we make our way out to 350 yards here, we've still got 24, 35 feet per second. So moving along quite well and 2,133 foot pounds of energy. All right guys, so I'm kind of pissed. I didn't even realize I didn't have my uh, phone case, my phone scope case to hook up to my spotting scope so I could get some slow-mo of the gel, but shooting 350 yards from the top of the hill, first round impact, which is always nice. Flip that block over. And we got a bullet right there, halfway through the second block. Absolutely beautiful. I believe this is the wound channel here. Um, I had it, there was wound channels in the block, but I had it, them facing the opposite way. So that's it here, you can see the red tip. So let me get this block home, we can get a better look. All right guys, got the gel blocks home now. So like usual, so much easier to see the wound channels with your eyes and with the camera, but bullet came in here. I mean, pretty much no neck, I would say maybe an inch, opened up very nicely. We got some fragmentation, carried heavily, pretty much to the 11 inch mark before it started to taper down. Now, right behind that is a wound channel from the 308. That was the Federal Power Shock. So, honestly, almost identical wound channels, except the 308 was at 100 yards, where the 7 mag was at 350 yards. And the bullet carried right to 23 and a half. Nice mushroom bullet. So, let's pull that out and take a look. All right, here's our bullet. Very nice uniform mushroom. Probably the best mushroom I've seen from an ELDX. So our weight retention was 140.8. So that works out to 86% weight retention, which is also the best I've ever seen from an ELDX. But this is the furthest I've tested them. Usually I do a 300 yard test. In this location, I had to do 350 yards. And I do apologize for lack of good footage. Um, like I said, I forgot my phone case to hook up to the spotting scope and I didn't want to put the camera down range because I didn't have a good spot to hide it in case I missed the gel. Alright, so on this side we got 0.62, which is the skinnier side, and over here we do have this pedal that kind of sticks out, so we'll try to grab that. Well, surprisingly, it's actually skinnier, about 0.6. So, two times expansion. Very good performance like usual, so like always guys, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.